what's going on guys welcome to today's video so I just finished up with my first ever beep ball practice with my team the Athens Timberwolves oh show them your hat y'all guys <laughs> oh turn around. let's see oh my goodness yeah I drive a Peterbilt <laughs> yeah Athens Timberwolves Ow! Race check, please. Sometimes we forget why we're here. Ready? It's easy to fall off ball. track. These help us remember. These battle scars don't look like the fair. Something no one else could see. Tell me what it means when your faith is falling beneath your knees and you can't breathe. Everything you see reminds you of what you're not, of something you won't be. You gotta take what you're given, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people talking like they're politicians and choose to be an accountant because it's safe in business. Not because they want to do it, just because they heard it pays. And who the fuck wants to be poor? No one, that's how we've been raised. Feel the weight, the pressure of success is like a hundred million pounds of shame. And that's the reason I'm staying up late, trying to find a way to escape. The stereotypes, this day and age is making me feel like the only way I'll be happy is getting signed to a label and making money through rapping. I want to share my emotion because this world is attacking the very principle of life that lets the people be happy. If you don't have a reason to breathe, why even live? These battle scars are impressions of everything that it is. person's life is simply what they want to be so you make your decision all i know is what i'm given won't define the life i lead or the Hi, way i dwell in existence i see the greater Go. image on the walls of where i'm living and the words twisted and scripted remind me of Go. something written oh. faith is a gift that is given Woo. down to the people of who believes it never believes it's given if it is needed don't ever think you're trapped in a life that you never wanted your options are infinite that's some mathematical logic i'm not saying i'm a prophet i'm speaking for what it's worth these lyrics Find my prayers in these battles cause I'm a church Not saying I'm a prophet, I'm speaking for what it's worth Find my prayers in these battles cause I'm a church <laughs> So, we just finished our practice, and it was it was definitely good that I got to practice with the team. Not everybody was there, but I got to kind of understand the, how the whole game works, how everything is laid out. And with hitting, I didn't do you know too great with hitting, but you know it wasn't my dad pitching. And when you have a different pitcher, they pitch like with different speeds, different. It's just it's a lot to kind of get acclimated with, and. Hopefully, I'll get to spend some time with because that's not the guy that's going to actually be pitching in the games. So, hopefully, um, you know, over the next couple of weeks, not next week, of course, because we're going to be competing exactly six days out as of today. And, uh, but yeah, hopefully, I can get to spend some time with the pitcher, and especially when we go to Wisconsin for the World Series before the games, I can get some time because really it takes like 10 to 20 pitches before the day, like when you get started, to kind of get the timing down but had fun and i tell you my now my like hitting is not the fun part sprinting to the base and tackling the base that's the fun part i feel like i'm doing tackling drills for like football practice <laughs> but we left out it's like three like a three hour three and a half hour drive down here uh to athens georgia from charlotte near charlotte where i live so of course we're six days out on prep and basically today is saturday so Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So the next four days, my carbs are going to be very, very low, and I'm going to be basically 
going through depletion. I woke up, guys. I woke up. I'm telling you, my obliques were really, really lean. I felt like really good. So, um, what I already th this is like I got this bag for Christmas. It's called a six pack bag. This actually fits in my big gym bag. This goes in my big gym bag, but I didn't need to bring my gym bag, so I just bought the lunchbox portion, and it fits all of these little Tupperware things in there, which I think this was... Eggs. Yeah, so this morning, we left out at like 6.30, 7 o'clock, so I didn't really have time to fix breakfast, so I fixed it last night. I put it in this. I had egg whites. I had my five serving of egg whites, one whole egg. I had half of a sweet potato, and I had half of an avocado. So I still got in, um, still got in my food, and now uh, we just finished our practice, and I'm starving. It's like, it's like, what time is it? Uh, it's like 2:30 right now. Yes, yeah, 2:46, and let's see what's in this. Broccoli. So I got some broccoli. I'm gonna eat broccoli. I'm gonna eat some broccoli, and um, and I already weighed. I weighed all of this out last night, so I'm gonna eat some broccoli, and I'm going to eat Brooke's favorite. <laughs> I got eight ounces of tilapia with some Frank's Red Hot, so I'm about to eat this up with some broccoli. And um, probably not any sweet potato, but I will probably have uh, another, the other half to that almond. Or almond. <laughs> Just one, one half of an almond. <laughs> that, av that avocado. So, But this bag is like the bomb.com because I can fit six of these little Tupperware things in there. So I already weighed it all out last night. Put it in the fridge and it also comes with these cooler packs to keep it all nice and cool i mean it's been sitting in the hot car all day and it's still good to go so we made it back home and it's now probably like eight o'clock um i ate eight ounces more of tilapia some more broccoli and a little bit more of an avocado and kind of rest a little bit i am exhausted i mean we got i mean we left here at like six seven o'clock this morning and it's a three hour drive down there, three hours of practice, and then a three and a half hour drive back. So, yeah, it's 7.45, and now it's time to go get in a workout. So I'm about to mix up my pre-workout, and then we are going to head to the gym. So, I'm so exhausted though. So hungry. So hungry, so exhausted, but we're about to go push through get in a killer workout we only got like four to five more workouts there we go four to five more workouts <laughs> so today is going to be a pull workout so i'm going to do back buys back buys hamstrings and probably a little bit of core but focus, main focus is back and biceps and uh, hamstrings. And really, really tired, but like, like my, my thing is like, come in here, before get started, you know, I drink my pre-workout, I get music in my, he my ears, and you know, some people like to say music distracts you, but I mean, you, there's music, or, there's always music ears to play in a gym, so like, for me, Having headphones in, getting focused, like getting focused. So when you're like low on energy and you're like getting close to the end and it's getting tough and you like, it's hard to get started. What really helps me is like, come in, get your mind set straight, get, you, get your mind focused on what you're about to do. And then once you get started, go balls to the wall, go hammer it out. And you know, if you, you, you start getting tired, you start, you know, thinking, oh, I think, I think that's good. I think I'm gonna end the workout here. I'm, I'm gonna quit. What I, what I personally do is I think about my last competition and I think about standing backstage and not making the top five. And now what I think about is when I'm backstage a week from now, six days from now, that I want to say that I, you know, I, I didn't quit my workout early. I didn't give up because I thought I was tired and I thought I couldn't do it. So make sure your mindset's straight, stay focused and get in there. Get it done. Hey, bang, pal, what I do is magic. I hop on the track and he put the spaz and rip and break the shit till he get the crack and all hell breaks loose when I get the packet. Got flows all day, you can check my notes. No interruptions when I'm in my zone. You hate what is real, but you'll never know how real I get when I'm in control. Nah, nah, nah. Damn, it's 
it's back to the basics. Remember when I would be rapping in basements? Yeah, and now I skip bases. This be the shit that I do on a basis. Look, don't care about the placement. I could care less about me being famous. Hey, I do this myself, and they y'all getting mad because I don't know they see it. They want to see for it, I want to check. Sing that. Uh, sing that. I need my girl to be up in the bed of my ass. I can't find my phone. I get the bed with a shit on my face. To make it in that, you can get a respect. Hang on, I got it. Perfect, I'm working it. No, I'm still like the flames. No pump. No one and this is my void in a world full of hate, but the shit ain't confusing. Look, I don't really got a time for y'all. I promise you I'm not the type to fall. You're the type to go and drop the ball. And I'm the type to go and wreck them all. I mean to brag, but I'm too impatient. My old songs sound like a latest. In two years, tell me who's the greatest. I've been on the move, ain't no time for waiting. I've been on a new way, making plans right now. Say my name, damn, that's another man down. Everyone around, I want a man right now. Gotta stand right now for the fam right now. We're said and done, so now you know me. I do this all by my lonely. They used to hate me, and now they owe me. It's Cam Michael, one and only. <laughs> this is just <laughs> This is your true habitat. <laughs> <laughs> I want slow. Oh, so. Oh, I don't really got patience. Have you checked on my latest? Probably not, still sleeping on me. Man, I swear he's so basic. Yo, trip making pesos. No sleep is how the pace goes. I just let the music take hold when I drop a song for the make go like yeah. Ain't nothing too good to do it. Ain't nothing too good to do it. Are you tired? Uh, yeah. You're tired? Yeah. Guess what? It's on your head. Ain't nothing too good to do it. Ain't nothing too good to do it. Come through, get dapped up, chill a little bit, then say bye, that's true shit. New one day I'll do this, drawing up my own blueprint. I cut them off, ain't dragging if you a nuisance. My schedule tell you better hurry, I already got no time. Alright, so we came home from the gym and I pretty much immediately done my 45 minutes of cardio in there in the living room on the, on the elliptical. And now I ordered something off Amazon that's very exciting. You just you guys just kinda gotta wait and wait and see when it comes in. But I'm super excited about it. Super excited. But I'm gonna finish off my macros today with four ounces of tilapia and one serving of almonds. And uh, yeah, so that's going to basically end off my macros. It's pretty late, but it's all good. Tomorrow is Sunday, five days out. And I'm definitely like getting depleted because one reason, you know, one way I can tell is when I'm working out and I really don't get a pump. I just, if I do get a pump, it doesn't last long. And that's just a sign of me being, you know, my muscles being depleted of glycogen, which is a good sign because Wednesday and Thursday when I carb up, it really helps to fill out the muscles. The muscle pushes out against the skin and it makes you look and appear leaner because it makes your skin appear thinner but definitely feeling pretty good um i'll probably lose about a couple more pounds over the next few days but that's going to bring this vlog to an end i hope you all enjoyed it if you did please hit the thumbs up button make sure you subscribe to the channel and as always guys thank you all so much for watching and keep getting stronger